Hey, hey, hey! Today we're back with another virtual lookbook. For those who don't know, this is where I style digital pieces from the internet in my body as if it was a dressing dolls game or whatever. It's a little bit cringy, but still fun. So today we're styling summer 2022 trends. I know a lot of things will probably be a little bit weird because I'm not styling the things that everyone already knows are trendy. I'm trying to get into the more like submersive, um, weird stuff that are like going to enter our hearts slowly as any new trend does. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's -a go! Okay, let's start playing! In the first outfit, the first trend you're gonna see is digital prints, graphic prints, and you'll see this through the whole lookbook, but I'm completely obsessed. Printing photos on jeans, comics, it's just dope. But then the other thing that we're still not quite familiar with, but is rising is just weird cutout tops peculiar cleavages just holes everywhere which i also really love because some of those can really flatter certain parts of your body in ways that maybe we hadn't even thought before or it'll just look weird but i'm here for the weird looks so i'm gonna pick this shirt even though in reality i don't think i have enough boobs to make this work so we let our girl dream okay and then I'm gonna go with, um, yeah, the black and white comic pants. Moving on, here we have puffy sandals or whatever they're called. I don't even know if they have a name, but I've been seeing these all throughout Pinterest. I love the chunky look. So I think I'm gonna pick up the purple just to make a spot of color in here. And then, um, good old brown leather jacket. So besides graphic prints on items, we're also going to be seeing patterns on top of patterns. You may think that fashion wants us to start looking like a bunch of clowns, but isn't it fun to just get over the mindset of we have to pick one simple piece and then one pattern piece and just being open to experimenting with so many more options. I love that. I think it gives us a lot more freedom and it's just fun overall. Even if sometimes it'll be a little bit of an eyesore, it's fun. <laughs> So I'm gonna go with the bright blue tank top and then the green skirt. I know, I know, but if we're, if we're talking about the trends, let's style the trends. And the clocks are also very in fashion. Shout out to my 100 years of shoes videos where I talked about them. I'm gonna pick the black ones. And then for the jacket, if we're going for chaos, let's pick the pink blazer. All right, so huge trend alert here are cargo skirts. I'm so glad I literally found a cargo skirt in my grandma's closet a couple weeks ago because I feel like I've seen so many cargo pants recently that I'm starting to get a bit over them, but I love the cargo look itself. So this is a way to spice it up for me. I also really want to start getting more into skirts and experimenting with that, which I feel like that itself is also a trend because a lot of people I've interviewed in street style videos say they also want to experiment more with the skirts. But yeah, um, let's go with the striped top and then the darker cargo skirt. Then Mary Jane shoes are also coming back. I don't know if they ever left. Maybe they're just always here, but they're screaming at us. So let's go with uh, these. And then for the jacket, I put the varsity one here because I also think varsity jackets are coming back. But I don't actually feel like adding a jacket here. So let's just move on. So just as the computer games you played in third grade had ads in them, we also had an ad here, but it's from Skillshare, and if you're not new to my channel, you would know how much I love them, so let's just get into it. Whether you're looking to explore your creativity, start freelancing online, learn how to sue, or even improve your self-care routine, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes that can help you do just that. This week, I've been taking Natalie Zakoff's class from amateur to pro photographer, your first steps into fashion photography, and as you may know, I make fashion content, and if you're creative trying to get into the industry, you would know how important important it is to develop your networking skills, know how to make connections and talk to people. I myself sometimes, a lot of times, put that in the back burner. So this course was really helpful for me to get inspired and learn some tips on how to pitch my ideas and reach out to brands and all of that fun stuff that sometimes is just a little bit overwhelming. So this is your sign to spice up your summer, challenge your creativity, self-care, learn a new skill, relax, get inspired. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I literally started using Skillshare through a YouTuber's link. So please use my link, support myself through that and make your summer a thousand times better. Yippee! Yay, girly stuff. 
look at this red top it's like an overall style top um let's go with a lighter top darker tennis skirt and then here darker jacket and free shoes i would never have thought of ballet shoes as something that would catch my eye maybe because i was a ballet dancer for 14 years of my life um so no need to wear ballet clothes outside of dance class but i think if you give me three more months i'll definitely get one of these in my closet so yeah if you're wondering ballet flats are one of the trends this summer and i'm gonna go with the pink ones bear in mind and when i'm talking about trends i'm not talking about the ones that are like so 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 obvious we've already seen it everywhere i'm talking the ones that are still starting off maybe we'll be more trendy towards the end of the summer and we'll, maybe we'll only be at their peak next summer or even after Yippee! anyways now we've got a darker outfit in the making let's pick this and this and then for jackets i'm not sure if i love this one here but it's just so cool that i have to pick it and then for shoes here's the trend pointy heels do we look like a witch maybe but who said we didn't want to let's be wild let's pick the green ones Yippee! okay last outfit i forgot to mention the bright colors are very trendy unless you're living in the rock you already knew that and if you've seen my previous lookbooks you know that i'm a sucker for monochromatic look so that's why i don't want to pick the two orange pieces because it'll just be too easy for me so let's make a questionable decision even for me the queen of nonsense style and let's use the denim top with the striped pants and the denim jacket i love all of these shoes but none of them match here <laughs> Why is this game so hard? And why am I pretending like I didn't create it just to make some drama? Okay, these two greens definitely do not match. And I made this very hard for myself. So just be it. Just be it. Yippee! Okay, guys, this was a video. We all know that I hate long outros. So please comment down below which outfit was your favorite. I know these videos a lot of times end up looking a bit weird and I know my outfits are a bit nonsense but my thing is just that it's literally exploring and not having a right or wrong way to do stuff as long as you're respecting everyone obviously so let me know which trends you loved the most or even hated the most I'm just curious about that and I'll see you next video next Sunday bye